Techniques for delivering radiation therapy Radiation therapy may be delivered externally or internally. External radiation delivers high energy rays directly to the cancer from a machine outside the body. Internal radiation, or brachytherapy, is the implantation of a small amount of radioactive material, seeds, in or near the cancer. Radiation can also be delivered as an isotope into a vein, as in the use of radioactive iodine for the treatment of thyroid cancer. Types of delivering radiation therapy 1. External beam radiation therapy EBRT is given via machines called linear accelerators, which produce high-energy external radiation beams that penetrate the tissues and deliver the radiation dose deep in the areas where the cancer resides. Modern machines and other state-of-the-art techniques have enabled radiation oncologists to significantly reduce side effects while improving the ability to deliver radiation. EBRT is typically delivered on an outpatient basis for approximately 6 to 8 weeks. EBRT begins with a planning session, or simulation, during which the radiation oncologist places marks on the body and takes measurements in order to line up the radiation beam in the correct position for each treatment. During treatment, the patient lies on a table and is treated with radiation from multiple directions. The actual area receiving radiation treatment may be large or small, depending on the features of the cancer. Radiation can be delivered specifically to an organ or encompass the surrounding area, including the lymph nodes. Types of EBRT techniques a three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy, 3D CRT. EBRT can be delivered more precisely by using a special computed tomography, CT, scan and a targeting computer. This capability is known as three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy, or 3D CRT. The use of 3D CRT appears to reduce the chance of injury to nearby body structures. Since 3D CRT can better target the area of cancer, radiation oncologists are evaluating whether higher doses of radiation can be given safely and with greater cancer cures. The Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy IMRT, IMRT is an advanced form of 3D conformal radiation therapy that allows doctors to customize the radiation dose by modulating, or varying, the amount of radiation given to different parts of the area being treated. The radiation intensity is adjusted with the use of computer-controlled, movable leaves which either block or allow the passage of radiation from the many beams that are aimed at the treatment area. The leaves are carefully adjusted according to the shape, size, and location of the tumor. As a result, more radiation can be delivered to the tumor cells while less is directed at the normal cells that are nearby. See Image Guided Radiation Therapy IGRT. IGRT is a new approach to delivering radiation therapy that allows for more accurate delivery of radiation to the target tissue. IGRT involves imaging during the course of radiation treatment. A computer compares images taken at the time of treatment to images taken during the planning phase. IGRT is used in conjunction with EBRT, 3D CRT or IMRT. The Intraoperative Radiation Therapy, IORT. Intraoperative Radiation Therapy, IORT, refers to radiation therapy that is administered directly to the area of the cancer during surgery. 
Wort has been used in the treatment of several types of cancer, and may be particularly useful for localized cancers that are difficult to remove completely or that have a high risk of local recurrence, recurrence near the original cancer site. Two different approaches to delivering it are intraoperative electron beam radiation therapy IOT, and high dose rate brachytherapy HDR The second method of radiation therapy delivery is internal radiation therapy or brachytherapy. Internal radiation is known by a number of names, including brachytherapy, seeds, or implants. These terms refer to treatment in which radioactive material is placed directly into or near the cancer. Brachytherapy may be used to provide an additional boost of radiation to an area also being treated with external radiation therapy, or may be used as the only type of radiation therapy. Brachytherapy may be permanent or temporary. In permanent brachytherapy, radioactive seeds are inserted and permanently left in place. Over time, the radioactivity diminishes. In temporary brachytherapy, the radioactive material is inserted for a specified period of time and then removed before the patient goes home. Temporary brachytherapy may be administered at a lower dose over a longer period of time, low dose rate, or LDR, or a higher dose over a shorter period of time, high dose rate, or HDR. During LDR brachytherapy, patients are generally hospitalized for as long as the radioactive implants are in place, often two to three days. In contrast, it may be possible to receive HDR brachytherapy on an outpatient basis. Brachytherapy has proven to be useful in the treatment of several different types of cancer, including prostate, cervix, uterus, vagina, head and neck, and breast. Breast Brachytherapy the procedure for breast brachytherapy involves inserting a deflated balloon into the cavity where the tumor was removed. An applicator shaft, or catheter, connects the balloon to the outside of the breast. The balloon is filled with saline, and both the balloon and the catheter remain in place during the time the woman is undergoing treatment. 1. Stereotactic Radiosurgery SRS. Stereotactic radiosurgery SRS, allows non-invasive treatment of brain tumors, arteriovenous malformation, and other selected conditions. Stereotactic radiosurgery SRS, allows non-invasive treatment of brain tumors, arteriovenous malformation, and other selected conditions. <laughs>